When you grow up with somebody, and they're your very best friend, you become main characters in each other's coming of age stories. And you get to see each other grow up. You get to see everybody through their highest highs, and you get to see everybody through their lowest lows. Somebody called Lawrence entered into our stories. Lawrence lights up the room. And I, I cannot thank you enough for being such a caring presence to my favorite person on this planet. You take care of him. Sometimes you take care of me too. I appreciate that, by the way. <laughs> you are always there. You have made him want to be a better version of himself. And that is so phenomenal. Shouldn't we all be so lucky to have somebody to make us our best versions of ourselves? Welcome to today's celebration of love and partnership. Justin and Lawrence would like me to thank each one of you for being here with them. You've been invited because you are their family, their best friends, and thus their community. You're who have helped to create the amazing people that stand before you. You've all helped to carry them to this ceremony by gestures large and small. Maybe you walked with them in a time of need, provided them care and comfort in good and bad times. Today, they want you to know they are so grateful to have spent time with you. Justin, from the moment we met in Grand Rapids, I knew that you were someone special, someone who would bring me joy, laughter, and love into my life. You are my partner, my best friend, and my soulmate. You have shown me so much kindness, empathy, and support and I am grateful for every moment that we have shared together. Whether we are gazing at the stars together, learning about the mysteries of the universe, both physical and transcendent, or discovering new places and experiences, I always feel inspired by your presence. Honestly, the last nine years I've been able to mature with you and grow with you. You made me want to figure out my life and figure it out with you by my side. You saw and continue to see my potential, even when I'm most doubtful of myself. You are my biggest supporter. You take care of me. You live your life wanting to be the best version of yourself, not just for yourself or me, but also so we can grow our family someday and be better for those kids. I vow to love you unconditionally. And last, and arguably most important, I vow to limit how much time and money I spend at Target. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just kidding. <laughs> we know that won't happen. <laughs> But all jokes aside, so many people here know the light that you carry burns bright. And you make life so much better by being you. This life and time on earth we spend together only keeps getting better and better. I couldn't be happier because happy is what happens when all your dreams come true. Without further ado, I am so happy to pronounce you our husband and husband. You may kiss. Woohoo! I am so happy to present your newlyweds, Lawrence and Justin. Justin, I love the way you make Lawrence laugh and appreciate how you love his fun-loving spirit. I'm grateful to have a brother-in-law who is so incredibly considerate and has an excellent sense of humor. It's also the best thing ever to have a brother who actually wants to go to Target with me. <laughs> I also love your talent for hosting and planning. I mean, look at this wedding, okay? This is Justin. This is who Justin is. Of course, Lawrence helped with this, but I guarantee you nothing Lawrence suggested made the cut here, okay? <laughs> Couldn't be happier that Lawrence has found such a supportive and loving partner. You're such a good fit for each other. You are intelligent, 
loving, kind, funny, and committed to working on a lifelong relationship with Justin. So Justin is a calming presence in Lawrence's life. And I know he'll be able to contain Lawrence's cray when he needs it the most. <laughs> so here's the happy couple, Lawrence and Justin. May your marriage be filled with love, laughter, and lots of Taco Bell. Cheers. person you have become and all the things you have accomplished and the bright future that awaits you. Lawrence, <laughs> you now step into the role of looking after my little brother. All I have to say now is good luck with that. <laughs> Justin, I feel like whether you realize it or not, I learned a lot from you, but in return, Justin, Let's be honest, I did teach you how to fish. Like the first time we went up north, we were standing on the same dock, standing next to each other using the same bait. I pulled in a bass, and I also pulled in a pike, and Justin didn't get a bite at all that day. <laughs> Even though he couldn't catch anything that day, he did much better catching the love of his life, Lawrence. I've known Lawrence for a long time now, and I have never met another person who smiles as much laugh so much and makes Justin the happiest I've ever seen him. The look on their faces when they are together says it all. Destiny, fate, soulmates, and simply just pure love.